Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a special video for you. This is a collaboration video. And it's not a, spa a paid sponsorship video. It's just a collaboration video of a company that reached out to me wanting to know if I wanted to receive their product and do a review on their product. And after I researched their company and their products that they offered, I decided that yes, I would like to. And what it is, it's called Joa Box. And it is a Korean um, skincare subscription box. So it is a monthly subscription box that you can do. It's um, around $40 a month. You can do a one-time box or you could do if you wanted to do like three months at a time, then you get a little bit of discount. Or if you wanted to do six months at a time, you get a little bit of a discount. But anyway, um, and this is the March box. And um, they did decide in this month's box to do a bag instead of a box. So that's why it's in a bag instead of a box. And so now they're calling it Joe a box in a pouch. <laughs> so that's why it's kind of like this instead of a box. But anyway, um, all the products that you get are full size products and um, you get it, a card that talks about all of the products and the value of each of the products that you get in your pouch. So I was really kind of interested in it because as you know, I get the Pink Soul box that I really like. That's a bi-monthly box. And I've been kind of researching and looking for maybe another um, subscription box that has Korean skincare in it. And so when they contacted me, I was like pretty excited to um, get it. But anyway, it came in this pouch here. So it was kind of um, in this outer packaging right here. Um, so it was in this. So it was very well secured. And then it was fold over and uh, secured this way. So that's how it came in first. And then, like I said, it was in this pouch here. And it's around $40 a month. And so let's get started I'm gonna make sure I don't think I left anything laying anywhere no I don't think so so and this is a pretty pretty sturdy bag and it has the um, drawstring on it so anyway so if you're wondering where I've been well my husband and I took a few days off and took a little mini trip in our motor home um, just to make sure that everything was good and that we knew how to work everything in it because we hadn't taken it anywhere since we purchased it back back before Thanksgiving, I think, is when we purchased it. So we just wanted to make sure that everything was going good because we were planning on doing a trip to Florida for six days and we were going to be traveling with my daughter and her husband and three of the grandchildren, plus um, my daughter's in-laws and her brother-in-law and her sister-in-law. So we just wanted to make sure before we got onto that big journey um, that everything was going good. So we did that and then we came back and we were home for a couple weeks and then we went to Florida. We went to Disney World because my daughter, my son-in-law, my oldest granddaughter, and my grandson were all in a wedding at Disney World. So that was pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. It was a beautiful wedding. Absolutely beautiful. But anyway, so that's where I was at. And of course, you know, it just takes time when you have businesses, you know, to get things ready and with my husband with the way he works with three jobs on top of doing the businesses you know there's just a lot to get ready and also I was just having I I was struggling very very hard with with my depression um, I was just in a very 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 dark place for a very long time I and to be honest with you I didn't think I was going to get out of it and um, it was hard. It was very, very hard. And uh, so I was spending a lot of time with some extra doctor's appointments and different things of that nature 
and I just didn't feel like filming. So um, it was all I could do just to get up and go to work, take care of the grandkids, come back home, bathe, take my medicine, and go to bed. So anyway, that that's pretty much the gist of where I was at from the last time that you seen a video go up to now. So anyway, also in the box was this little card. Um, it looks like a playing card. And I'm going to have to put my glasses on to see what it says. It says March Joa Box. And it says Be Your Own Woman Crush is what it says on here. So I don't know, I don't know what what this is all about. Hmm. I don't know if you're supposed to collect those or what, but that was in there. So anyway, in the box, oh, it says that on the front here too. On this, it says, be your own woman crush. So anyway, so let's get started with um, the products that were in here. The first one is the Stay Put Eye Stick Pony Effect Eyeshadow Stick. And this one retails for $16. I'm going to put my little calculator on and because um, I did not add this up yet. I've been using this little um, eyeshadow stick actually and I have actually been enjoying this. Um, as you can see it's kind of all messed up. I've been using it as an just an all over the eye. I have one eyeshadow look and it has made a really pretty eye look. And I have also been using it just as an eyeshadow base, as you can see right there. And it's been really pretty and it stays on all day. It doesn't crease, it doesn't smudge. And I have really been enjoying that. And that's by Pony Effect. And I, from what I remember from all that's in this bag, is that this is the only brand that I was familiar with. Um, the rest of the brands that are in here I've not heard of. So, but I have heard of Pony Effect. Matter of fact, I have, have and had used a cushion from Pony Effect. So, but I have actually been enjoying using that eyeshadow stick. And what was the color of this called? Let me tell you the color. And it retailed for $16. Did I tell you that? Um, it's, a, it's a gel formula. Um, what color is it? Rose Dress, I think is what it's called. Yes, and there's different colors. There's there's um, smudge free. They come in a matte and shimmery version. This one is a matte. So, but yes, I really do like that. I've been using it quite a bit. I've actually been kept in, keeping it on my vanity. I had to go and grab it off of there before I started filming. Oh, and speaking of filming, it took me forever to get set up. I couldn't figure out how to get my camera to focus. I couldn't figure out my lighting. I was like I had to learn all over again. Oh, and here's the box that it came in. Pony Effect Stay Put Eye Stick. Yes. But yes, I did like that. Oh, here is the color of it right here. Rose Dress. Yes. Yes, I did like that. So, I thought it was very well worth the money. Um, the next thing is a Water Rising Tint in Melage. For $12. What is that? Was this this lipstick? Yes, that's the lipstick here or it's not really lipstick. It's more of a one of those lip tints. This one took me a little while to figure out when I took it out of the box and it re it was a retail of $12, right? $12 plus. So we're at $28. But anyway, when you first look at it, and I hope you can, you may not be able to see it because it's got a frosted glass here. But when you look at it, it looks like there's a lipstick bullet in there. And so I was trying the, my darndest to get this lid to come off because it looked like it was a lipstick. Like there was a lipstick bullet there. And I was just trying and trying and trying and trying to figure out how to do it. And I thought, well, maybe it comes open here. And every time I would go to pull it this way... And then it would start to like unscrew and I'm thinking, no, I'm, I'm breaking it because it would come open like that. And I'm thinking, no, I'm breaking it because I wanted to get to that bullet right there. 
well no it's a it's a gloss like that <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out but anyway because I swear it looks like that that's the lipstick right there had me full um the scent on it is kind of a chemical scent to it and like I said it's one of those real liquidy like it's supposed to just kind of tint your lips color see I don't like that I don't like that at all on camera it's looking kind of orange but it's more of a red color like a poppy color but I don't really like that formula so I don't think I'm going to enjoy that at all I haven't even touched it since I kind of opened it and looked at it the first time that I got it so I was just like mm, I don't know about that so that was $12 and of course, each time, um, each product on here, on this little paper here, it kind of tells you how, a little bit about it. And um, they do have a YouTube channel too, and they'll um, tell you to keep an eye out for like a YouTube channel tutorial. Um, And they also give you like little tips on how to wear the product. <sighs> and then they also have the same information in French. Okay, the next product is a white truffle turnover peeling, um, the plant base for $13. And this was something that I've not heard of this brand but here's the box here and here's the product here and again it's just one of those products that you put on um, clean skin that is free of any makeup and um, you put it on and you start manipulating it over the skin and as you do it's supposed to start rolling up and as it rolls up it's supposed to help pull off you know the surface layer of dead skin on the skin on the face um, it's a home peeling, instant brightening, um, remove dead skin cells. I haven't used it yet, but um, there it is right there. Or it's kind of hard to tell with my, my lighting because it's white. Everything else is white. So that was $13. So now we're at $41. So those three products there was the cost of the bag. And then we have Azeline Calming Cream. Um, what else does this say? The Zan, the second aid. And it says Azeline is an organic compound derived from the stem distillation of chamomile. Um, this cream is a calming, soothing, and balancing cream with azoline, which is a anti-inflammatory for the relief of redness and irritations for radiant complexion. And you can use it once, twice a week, or whenever a calming effect is required. And you can apply it evenly onto the face of your neck, your face, or your decollete. I haven't used it yet. And I'll tell you why I haven't tried any of the skincare products. Even though normally I would have jumped all over these like a chicken on a June bug. I, and I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's stress related, hormonal, or if it's something skincare that I've used but I have never ever even in my teenage years have suffered with acne but for whatever reason this last few months my chin here has just gone nuts gone nuts it is just like a landmine with just texture and irritation and that cystic acne and it's just been more than the cystic acne it's just been it's been horrible and I've been trying to eliminate different things and I'm just I'm afraid to add anything new until I get this under control and figure out what's causing it so that's why I've been very 
reluctant to try anything new because I'm in the process of eliminating things and so I haven't even you know like opened any of this it's still sealed and and that's the reason why I haven't even opened any of it and used it and that's that's why Whew, it's it's been rough especially for someone that you know I'm 50 years old 51 maybe am I 51 I think did I just turn 51 I think I just even just turned 51 I can't even keep track and I have never had acne like this ever ever and I don't know what is causing it but it's just been bad and it's been and it's even got to where it's not even just on my chin I've had it up here on my forehead I've even had it here up here I've had it on my eyebrow I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's new, some of the new medication, they keep changing my medication. I finally, the other day when I went to my doctor, I'm like, look, we have got to quit going and put me on different medications. I wanna go back to what I was originally on. I'm tired of, of jacking with put me on this, put me on that, add in this, add in that. I wanna go back to what I was on and I want it left alone. That's all there is to it. It's my body, I'm done. Put me back on what I was on and just leave it alone. <laughs> I'm done. Anyway, okay. And then we have a mask that they sent me. This one is so cute. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest? It's an eye mask. It's the Eye Mask Night Dr. Goldderm. Is that what that says? I can't see. I cannot see. My eyes have gotten worse. Um, Glowderm, Dr. Glowderm. It's three dollars. Um, let's bring some fun into the sheet mask gamut. Our game, the eye mask night, is perfect for a sheet masking selfie. It's a hydrogel type of sheet mask, providing hydration and cooling effect. And you're supposed to use it on for like, um, leave it on for like 20 minutes. So that is what that is. And it says time to party. It's supposed to help with calming eye bags and brightening the skin. So anyway, so I had a little eye mask and that was $3. So that puts us at $44 right there. And then they have the Shirley Green 100 Face Oil Common Leaf, and this is a sample that they put in, and they say this sample size, and they say it's a $4 value, um, is a product that they're thinking about cur curating, and so they want us to try it, to test it, to see if it's a product that we think that we would like to have in a future box because keep in mind that all of the products that they they send in these bags are full size so they wanted to see if this would be something that we would want to see in a future box in a full size so they sent a sample size of it to even see if it's something that we would be interested in so it says it is a Azaline, oh wait, no, nope, wrong page. <laughs> um, it's a natural face oil, vegan friendly, formulated with 10 kinds of natural originated oils. Common Leaf is a cruelty free brand. And that's all it says. That's all it says about it. Let's see what it does. It say anything on this card that's in? It just says in English. It just says put an appropriate amount of the product on palms and apply to face. Also, it says you can add to like any mixture of like a moisturizer or into a foundation if you needed some extra moisturization. If my little bottle's not even all the way full, it could have leaked out though. Oh, 
open it and see what it smells like. Maybe I'm going to open it. <laughs> Hard open. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, I just broke the little thingy off of there. <laughs> Thought I was going to open it. Well, shuckaroo, buckaroos. I don't want to eat it. Hmm. I don't notice any smell. Just some of my. Oh, now I do. What does that smell like? What does that smell? <laughs> hmm. I can't. I don't know. It almost smells like, um, like some kind of natural oil. Almost like a spicy oil <sighs> that you would cook with. Oh, yeah, that don't surprise me. Now I messed up my little stopper. <laughs> Well, I'll just set that right there. And it almost feels like a, um, almost feels like, like a dry oil. Like it's not real oily. So anyway. It almost smells like oregano. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. And then also, oh, and I just knocked it over. I may have to go ahead and try that just to see but anyway and then um they had a little car a little note in here too that says hello Janie life is beautiful so like you Joe box team Joe a box team so that was really nice cute little cute little note right there so that was the Joe a box um Korean skincare box. That was a subscription box. So, like I said, it was um, stuff that's curated in Korea, you know, made in Korea, awful size products. Um, I guess every once in a while they might throw in a sample size if it's something that they're thinking about curating and seeing if you would want to see that product as a full size in the boxes so that's not too bad you know at least they want to take in consideration you know the people as a whole their opinion before they just throw something into the box um, the total um, with that deluxe size sample was $48 and the price of the box was $40 so you're, you're not getting a whole lot of like extra so you're you're pretty much getting exactly what what you're paying for. So it's it's a little bit of a gamble because you may get something that you don't like. Like I know I don't like this. Um, I don't like the color for one thing, and I don't think I'm gonna like the formulation. I know I do. I like this. I like this a lot that I've used, but I haven't used any of the other stuff just because of my skin issue that I've been having. But anyway, so, but it's kind of nice to have, you know, options of some sk Korean skincare subscription boxes that are out there. So that's, that's one that you can check into. I know you can go on the website right now and look at the April box and you can see what it is and see if it's something that you would be interested in getting and you could go ahead and purchase it if you wanted to. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye.